back. So I have been crafting a little bit here and there throughout the week and I made these signs from Dollar Tree signs and as you can see, the, I just picked up these kinds of signs. You know, this is the back, but I just put it on the other side. This is the first one and it just says October 31st and it has a little spider web and I distressed it and I thought it looked really cute. Very kind of spooky farmhouse look and the other one is the same style and it just says boo and it has a spider web on it. I was inspired to make these because I was scrolling through Pinterest and you know how sometimes you see like a sponsored post on Pinterest? I'll show you. The post that came up in Pinterest was this one and it just had this exact same kind of thing and it was 43 bucks. I don't know if this is on Etsy or where but it was one of those like sponsored posts. So I decided I'd just make my own and I think it's a pretty close dupe. I hope you enjoy these DIYs. Um, I really like them. I will show you footage of how I styled them. I've also really been loving the creepy cloth that you can get at the Dollar Tree. So this creepy cloth thing is so cool. Like you can drape it over a lamp and it instantly makes the whole look feel like spooky. So I will show you guys how I use that in my little, my two little buffets that I have. The one in my entryway and the one in my living room. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, I really hope you enjoy this video. If you want more DIYs just like these, then please go ahead and subscribe and please hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. And let's just go ahead and dive right into these tutorials. So the first thing I did was just paint the back of my signs in white and chalk paint dries really really fast but if you want to make it dry even faster just a little tip if you hold it in front of a fan it'll usually dry in like two three minutes so that really helps me normally it's like 10 minutes drying time and i would get so distracted because in 10 minutes time while i'm waiting for my paint to dry i'm like already ready to move on to something else so this um holding it in front of a fan after painting it makes projects go really really fast so the next thing was just uh, drawing out I'm using a pencil and I'm drawing out my one and I'm using a ruler because the one is just like just the line so it's easy to just use a ruler for that And then to actually paint on my sign, I'm using a paint marker and I got this one at Michael's and I really don't like it. I'll be trying something different next time. It just kind of creates this like feathery look. It doesn't write very smooth and you have to go over it many, many times in order to get a solid color, but um, I'll try something different next time. And then I messed up my three, so I had to paint over it one time. So I just painted over, I was only using the pencil, but I painted right over that and then while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm just continuing to work on my one and just filling in the blank spots. For my three, I'm actually just very, very lightly drawing and also just using little dashes and dots to kind of help me when I go in with the marker. I want this to look handmade and I don't want it to be perfect, but I want to stick to like the proportions that I want. So that's kind of the purpose for me doing that. And then I'm just making my three bolder. So I'm extending that line and just filling in and just continuing to add more black to make it even bolder. As you can see, that marker is giving me so much trouble. I had to tap onto my little cardboard in order to get more paint to come out. It was just a little bit of a nightmare, but I got through it.
and then I'm writing the word October at the bottom of the three and I'll also be making that a little bit bolder and drawing in my spider and my spider web. I at first wrote in with a pencil but then I kind of just didn't even use those lines so I really didn't need them so I'll just it doesn't matter because once we distress it you won't see the pencil lines anymore. Then all I'm doing is just taking some sandpaper and sanding the whole sign. I love the distressed look that this gives it. So for my second sign, I wanted it to be very, very similar but just slightly different. So I'm just writing out the word boo and doing the same kind of spider and spider web. And I decided to just completely freehand this. I realized that sometimes even if I do first write it out with a pencil, I don't even follow those pencil lines that I first created. So I was like, what's even the point? So I just freehanded it and I think it turned out completely fine. I like how it looks. I think it looks totally like rustic and handmade, which is perfect for the look I was going for. And then same process here as the previous sign, I'm just distressing it with some sandpaper. Now after I distressed it, I decided I wanted it to look even more rustic, so I took some mineral chalk paint and I dry brushed on top of it, and I think that totally made it even better. Um, I did that for both of the signs, and all I did was just take my brush with a little bit of paint on it and just dry brush right over the sign. And that is it for these spooky, rustic, farmhouse looking signs. I really enjoyed making these so much and I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this and please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I will see you guys in my next video.